Moving on in this video, we're going to talk about how we can write some rules for some polynomial functions that have been transformed. So we're going to look through and go through six examples today that involve various types of transformations. And we're going to write what the new equation or the new function would look like and then also tell what transformations have taken place. So for number one, it says let f of x equal x to the fourth minus x cubed minus one and g of x equal negative or the opposite of f of x. So what I see here, this opposite of f of x, basically we can say g of x is equal to the opposite of x to the fourth minus x to the third minus one. And now we can just distribute that negative. So we're gonna end up with g of x being um, negative x to the fourth plus x to the third plus one. And so that would be what our final uh, or our transformed polynomial function would look like. And what happened there? Well, we made f of x opposite. So we had a reflection and we reflected over the x axis, right? We didn't make x opposite, that'd be a y axis reflection. We made the entire thing opposite, so that's an x axis reflection, okay? All right, number two it says, let f of x equal x to the fourth minus x cubed minus one. So same function f here. And g of x equals 0 0.5 times f of x. So we see we have multiplication going on here. So we can say that g of x is equal to 0 0.5 times f of x. Well, f of x is x to the fourth minus x to the third minus one. So now we can just distribute once again our 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 x to the fourth minus 0 0.5 x cubed minus 0 0.5. And that's what our transformed function would look like. And so what happened? We had a vertical shrink by a factor of one half. So we know it's vertical because the multiplication is happening to f of x and not directly to x. If it were happening to x, that would be horizontal. All right. Okay, number three now says let f of x equal 2x cubed minus 2x squared plus 6 and g of x equals negative 3 times f of x. So now we have two transformations going on here. We have this negative and we have the multiplying by a 3. So let's say g of x equals negative 3 times f of x. So 2x cubed minus 2x squared plus 6. And now we can get our new function. So it'd be negative 6x cubed plus 6x squared minus 18. So that'd be our transformed polynomial. And we had two transformations that happened. So we had a vertical stretch by a factor of three. That's what the three represents. And then also we could say followed by a reflection in the x-axis, right? Because just like on number one, we're making f of, f of x opposite, not x, so that'd be an x-axis reflection. All right, number four, we have f of x equals x to the fourth plus one, and g of x equals the f of x plus four. So now notice how we are doing something with x. So this is gonna be a horizontal transformation. So we can say g of x is equal to, and now we're going to plug in, and wherever we see an x, we're gonna plug in x plus four. So now we have x plus four to the fourth plus one. So now we need to use our binomial expansion and we can actually use Pascal's triangle to help us with this. So I made a video on this, I'll link it in the cards right now to know how we can expand and what our coefficients should be and also what the degrees of our terms should be within each term of our polynomial. So remember Pascal's triangle, we have one, 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 two, one, one, three, three, one, one, four, six, four, one. And remember, this is like row zero, row one, row two, row three, and row four, okay? So since we have an exponent of a four here, we wanna go with these numbers as our coefficients in our fourth row or when we expand this binomial. So our first term is x, so it's gonna be x to the fourth plus four x to the third times four plus six x squared times four squared plus four x times four cubed and then plus four to the fourth. So look what happened, we had x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x, and then no x term. Then we had no four, four to the first, four squared, four cubed, four to the fourth, right? So that's kind of how our, our binomial expansion works. And so if you watch that video that I linked earlier, it'll show more about that. So now we can simplify here. Oh, also let's not forget our plus one that we had up here, right? 
So now we have g of x is equal to x to the fourth plus 16x cubed plus, that'd be 16 times 6, 96x squared plus 64 times 4, 256x and then plus 256 plus 1. So now here we can just add that. So 256 plus 1 would give us 257. So this would be our new polynomial equation, right? And so it went all the way to that um, with just a horizontal translation for units left. Okay, that's, that's all it took for us to drastically change that polynomial. All right, number five, let f of x equal x to the fourth plus x cubed minus one, and g of x equals f of negative x minus eight. So here we can say g of x is equal to, and now once we, whenever we see an x, we're gonna make that become negative x. So this would be negative x to the fourth plus negative x cubed minus one, and then at the end we can add on our minus eight. So here we can say g of x is equal to, negative x times negative x times negative times negative x. That's gonna be still x to the fourth, but now this one would be minus x cubed and then minus nine. So that's what our polynomial function, our function would look like. And what happened? We had a reflection over the y-axis this time, and then we had a vertical translation, eight units down. Okay, all right, last example. So it says, let f of x equal x cubed plus two x squared minus nine. And now this time they just give us some transformations and they want us to apply it to the function. So horizontal shrink by a factor of one third, translation two units up, followed by a reflection in the x-axis. So we can essentially just do um, each of these at one time. So horizontal shrink by a factor of one third, we can apply that. And so our final function is g of x. So let's start off with maybe h of x. And so for a horizontal shrink by a factor of one third, we're actually going to multiply our x values by three. So we want to actually, instead of finding the h of x, um, essentially our, well, our h of x is going to be equal to the f of three x, okay? And so now we can say h of x is equal to three x cubed plus two times three x squared minus nine. And let's simplify this one. So three cubed would be 27x cubed plus, this would be nine x squared times two, so 18 x squared and then minus nine. So that is us doing the horizontal shrink, done. Now it says a translation two units up, so we could just write a plus two right there, and go ahead and combine. And so let's say, uh, let's move down to t of x. So let's say this is 27x cubed plus 18x squared uh, minus seven. And now, uh, so we've done our translation, and now let's do our reflection in the x-axis. So this is our final function, g of x. And reflection in the x-axis, remember we're gonna make f of x opposite, so this would be like opposite of t of x. So g of x is equal to the opposite of 27x cubed plus 18x squared minus seven. So g of x is equal to negative 27x cubed minus 18x squared plus Seven, and that's what our final polynomial function would look like. So that's how you can write some rules of polynomial functions that have been transformed.